Hey guys, anybody familiar with this little beastie will know it's the unique Typhoon H Advanced and it has a 4 HD camera on board. Uh, I could go into real detail about what this little beastie can do but my suggestion is go onto Unique's website and check it out. Um, there has been a lot of con controversy regarding this unit over the last uh, few months but uh, a lot of it is unfounded right people have had problems with the firmware upgrade that was released recently well a few days ago now here's the thing you powered up your hat your, your controller you powered up your drone and for some reason your drone will not connect i know with mine when you see here volts that wasn't showing there's was a few things down here wasn't showing and when I click to move the camera which I'm not going to turn the other way around but when I went to try and do that it wasn't working and that was concerning so I thought well what can I do did a bit of research online now what you can do go into system settings click OK and as you can see it brings up this and the drone does that now what you can do uh, this is basically your drone model number so what you basically do to get the drone to talk to this the ST16 tip that backwards and forwards at an angle of 45 degrees a couple of times and when you do the light at the back here will go orange and then you will see this display on the screen. Another thing I've noticed is that once the two have linked together, there has been problems with the camera. Well, when you if I refresh this, now if you click on the camera, click on bind, if it hasn't connected, it will actually bring up the ask the password. Well the password is basically one uh, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Click OK and then it'll show you this connection established one thing I will say I have noticed with the typhoon since the update is boot up time ready to fly is now down to average about 1 minute 30 seconds I've known with mine I've actually timed it I've got it down to 1 minute 28 seconds ok ok it's not as fast as the DJI series of uh, drones not the Phantom 3 the Phantom 4 but this thing doesn't have light bridge technology uh, like um, the the, type, uh, the the Phantom series. You've not got a device like uh, an Android phone or uh, an Apple device uh, connected up to your controller because everything's built in. Yes, it's Wi-Fi based. It's different. It's new. It works. Uh, the thing's improving all the time. One thing I would recommend is if you are looking for a nice stable drone that produces fantastic pictures and video and you don't want a DJI product then my suggestion is go for this little beastie because if say for example and these aren't locked in place at the moment let's just say for example one of the six rotors on here goes down I can still land that aircraft quite safely now you have the same problem with a DJI product like the Phantom 3, the Phantom 4 or Phantom, sorry, Phantom 4, your product is going to drop out the sky like a brick. So, there are benefits of this drone and there are benefits of the uh, DJI range. It's up to you what you go for. But what other thing I would say is, if you do have problems with the firmware, don't panic. Um, it is actually easy to rectify it, uh, once you get into grips grips with it don't rush yourself just take your time and have fun